It's always smoky at first. Isn't it? <laughs> Yes, yes, the people, how are you? My name is Bogdan and I have COVID. Mm. I was really hoping one day to tell my grandchildren that I dodged it, I dodged the virus, but that's not the case. But anyway, I have all three jabs, which means I'm taking it like a champ. Today I can walk, it does not take me over an hour to make a coffee in the morning. Yesterday though, it was not nice at all. You know what is nice though? That door behind me. The door was unanimously loved by everyone who's seen it on the gram. It is solid wood. It's super efficient because it retains the heat like a and mouse. The thing that I am most gassed about, how much space it saves. Because do you remember the issues with the door? The original door? Hello, welcome to the door that does not open. This is gonna be a pain in the asshole. Yes, which means the door is going. Goodbye, door. The door did not move anywhere. Back home and this fing door is still fing door. It's impossible. Fing door. Fing door. One. May wait for this middle screw, right? Look at the size of it. Look at the size of this. <laughs> what the <laughs> is this? You were right. The screwdriver was easiest. Are you proud of yourself? A little bit. <laughs> you know what we did not think about? What? What are we gonna do with this door now? Where are we gonna put it? The dump. Oh, the dump. I gotta take it apart, don't I? Can we burn this? Can we do barbecues with the door? Oh, it's nice. Remember that video I have on Facebook when someone lent me a chainsaw and I learned how to use a chainsaw? And today, many, many moons later, we finally do it. The dream come true. Then we are finally making the fucking door. You don't understand. <laughs> Good wood though. Yeah, you do, and a lot of it too. We're using a heavy board of wood and 18 mil for the center because apparently this is thick and heavy enough so it doesn't bend or curb through hanging on the wall over there. <laughs> slidey, slidey. And now we're trying to figure out on how to replicate that pattern that we saw on YouTube. This guy, I love your design, so we're gonna emulate it but make it better. So far so good, we got the initial pattern done. We were following the man's design upside down. So now we, we've uh, re-established continuity. So this is no longer the top of the door. This is going to be the bottom or not. We're gonna finish it and then we're gonna decide which side. We've got our beams that we cut together in place. And from now, we can actually start building the rest of the pattern. Pretty cool. You ever done anything like this before? No, never had a customer as crazy as you before. Oh, great, thank you. <laughs> He's a joke at this guy. But... Benji's Multi Trade, your one stop shop for all your custom design. So we finished the first side of the door, it's dope, it's lit, now we flip the whole thing over, Ben is taking care of all them pointy bits of the needles that went through when we put the bits in, and we're gonna do this side of the door now. When the paint is drying, Ben's making doors! How you doing man, you excited? Oh, Nearly done. I'm excited to get finished, it's all coming together, it's gonna look great. All right, second side of the door is on. Let's go, Katie's joining. Get that wood glue out, girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. 
So this side went just like the first side. We glued and let all the bits be as long as they had to. Then we chop off the excess and we use what falls off for tiny gaps or as barbecue wood. Either one. Who's number one? Who's number one? Ben's number one! So at this point I asked Ben, when is a good time to stop sanding? When is it good enough? And his answer was, whenever you're happy with it. I don't know, keep keep doing it. But like, honestly, uh, about w one day of sanding, I think is enough for anything. Man, did my neighbors hate me. Especially now that we're still making noise at like 8 p.m. Man, they really got annoyed. The way that you normally hang this door up is uh, you check for studs. And if you're lucky enough to have the studs inside the wall, where your bolts on the bar that comes in the kit align, then that's great. If not, in other words, instead of having a whole plank of wood on the wall, we're moving it inside of the wall. And that's why Ben is digging in the wall to put big chunks of wood next to the studs so that we can drill these bolts into those. First try with the door. Still a couple of things to go wrong. No, 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 it doesn't. There are all sorts of alignment issues happening right now. Today is not going to be the last day of working on this door like I anticipated did or hoped. Anyway, look, the problems are normal here. There's a case of the walls not being perfectly straight or not even being aligned with each other. Today did not go as planned. Technical difficulties, the saw caught fire. I'm not totally disappointed because we have advanced a lot with this door behind me and that was always a big part of today, the last day allegedly. But Ben took it really personally and like he feels like he has accomplished nothing today, was I disagree, but either way, the last day was not the last day. The new last day is Friday. Good morning, 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 good morning. Good morning. We'll it again. And behold, the toilet door to be. Yes, yes, this is it. The moment of truth, the moment we kind of wrap it up. Half of the toilet door is completed to match this other door, the main door. And I am gonna finish sanding the floor so we can get it to the same nice, unanimous color. Guess who's back? Uh, Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? How's it going, man? You got gloves. Third saw. Third saw. Wow, this is a beast. Are you crazy? Yeah, this is heavy. This is. Now, let me give you a little show. This is really quite amazing. This. It's. Wow. Look at that. Levels. No more two machines. Just one. Just the one. Just the one. But in like a week, Ben breaks his third saw as well. That is so silent. True story. I have to admit, it was just Ben who worked on the bathroom door. We had a lot of relatively big pieces that were left over from the big door. So overall, I think he spent a couple of days working on the small door and installing it was a piece of cake. I think in about half an hour, he was done. Well, this is something else. Levels. We still got to put a skirt on these on this thing on this door. Yeah. 
couple of things here and a couple of things there. We gotta fix a little bit of wall that we have to fuck up in order to put the door in place. But it's okay, Ben is on it. And that is it. We are done, Palominios. That's it, Ben is done. Just in time for Xmas. Alas, it is done! Hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you've enjoyed the, the guidance and the advice on how we made it. Hope yours comes out just as well, if not nicer, but hopefully not nicer, not, not, nice, not nicer. I'm quite proud to be the only person on YouTube to have this exact door. Look how dope it is, look how well it fits in there! But yeah man, hope you enjoyed this video. Soon enough we're gonna be making another video that's gonna go through all of the renovations that we've done so far. So thanks again for watching, remember to sub if you haven't done so already. Follow me on all of them social medias with the same handle. Share this clip with someone who you know will enjoy it or make use of it. And I will catch you next time on a new video. There is. God damn, it feels good to say later. I haven't said laters in years, man. I mean, you might have noticed that now all of my videos are in English. Hence the Romanian subtitles below. But that's a good opportunity for you to learn some Romanian because, yo, we are everywhere. All right, I'll leave it here. Later. Let you go.